a mysterious disease decimated both camps in the past weeks. As a result, Josh and Jessica were left alone in the hill camp. The terrible burden of repopulating the camp landed on Josh's shoulders. In conclusion, Josh became the local hero while everyone is feeling quite miserable around him. I also love how the loading screen pushed Cameron into the background. Anyway, the fridge is doing fine and what I want to do first is to change Cameron's job to the paranormal career. I feel like after Josh dumped, well, he did not dump her, but he's just trying to ensure genetical diversity. But this can be something that pushes Cameron to card reading and love potions. Tosha is surprisingly still not pregnant, so Daniel is now in a very good situation. We have three adults available to teach him the basic skills. Wait a minute, he doesn't even have a teddy bear. Oh my god, what kind of world do they live in? She just stole a toy from an innocent toddler. Oh wait, you like Josh? And how much? <laughs> Tosha is already suspicious. Well, don't worry Tosha, she seems to be annoying. Now that Daniel learns to talk and walk, he seems to be very enthusiastic about gaining some more skill points. The good old child is when you were actually interested in learning new stuff. I wish there was a calm, peaceful way to see someone's goals, but there you go, Josh, your wish is fulfilled. Do you maybe want to scare your old lover too, Jessica? No? Well, alright then, but feel free to scare him to death anytime. Okay, wait, this is so cool. He learned to walk from Josh, speak from his mom, and party from Tosha. Quite symbolic if you ask me. Anyway, I haven't bought any toddler toys so far, but I was thinking that maybe we can allow us to have this shape pairing stuff and the xylophone. I think they are both created in an apocalypse-proof way, so little Daniel can be the super smart toddler he wants to be. Okay, so now what? Will you throw up on her? Oh, too bad she didn't. Cameron wants to flirt today and Tosha is working, so she might give it a try with Josh. Alright then, let's get back to painting. I mean, it's okay to need some time to rebuild the trust. Josh reached his 5th logic point, so now he has 10 granted supply points altogether, and he just lacks one charisma skill to have 11. I mean, that's 222 units for free as long as he lives. Daniel is also pursuing his third logic point. He's gonna be a worthy successor of Josh. Oh my god, he just chose to sleep with Cameron. I mean, Tosha is pregnant, so... Happy birthday, Daniel! Oh, look at that, he's badly grown up, but he's already helping with the housework. What a perfect kid. He was using the telescope the first time ever in his life, and he already discovered a star. He's a natural talent, you can tell. <coughs> Um, I'm not sure that this is the best moment to give him a kiss, but as you wish. Well, it seems like the cookies were tasty enough to make her want to date. And what a date, she's also giving birth. You know, I thought I was aware of every possible way you can mess up a cutscene, but this is a whole new level. Look at Lucas, he's inherited Tasha's green eyes. Okay, okay, you know what, Cameron, you deserve a date too. You have to treat your wives equally, I guess. But Daniel is a very good scavenging material, so we have to treat him accordingly. I want him to have a lot of free time to earn skill points. It's Friday and we still have 83 units, and now that Josh has so many skills, I feel kind of secure. Maybe overly secure because of that, but I really feel like nothing can go wrong with them anymore. Which is obviously not true, but let's stay optimistic for a while. Okay, so this guy Ethan knew Cameron from before she moved in here, and they were friends and attracted, so it seemed like something was about to happen between them. I don't know, but now surely will, because I can't resist making some drama. Josh is so upset, my secondary wife is hugging some old dude, how dare she? He even wants to kill Ethan, perfect. Remember the mini rule we once had? If he comes around once again and Josh wins a fight, he will. Oh, and Tosha is super mad at Cameron for hurting her precious loved bird. I mean, let's just stop here for a second to process this. She, the main wife to say so, is mad at the woman who still has some things going on with Josh and is currently pregnant with their second kid. So she's mad at her for cheating on her husband. I mean, at this point it's pure communism. Anyway, now they are enemies. I wonder who's gonna think first about killing the other. Oh my god, Cameron is a witch. I'm telling you, she just left for work and Tasha got struck by lightning immediately. Okay, it's really nice that you take care about Lucas so much, but you should fix yourself first. Cameron is now afraid of Ethan's death, wonder why? She probably knows the rules by now. Josh finished his last charisma points, so now we have 11 scavenge points, and we were lucky enough to spare some food until Sunday for the first time ever in I don't know how many weeks. Probably since the very first one. Look at that, he inherited the blonde hair too. Daniel can be the smartest guy when he grows up, but Lucas is definitely going to be the most charming scene we've ever seen.
Okay, time for a no pressure NVIX challenge. It's just two townies, so everything is fine. I'm sorry my phone failed to record the actual generating step, but it's 440. That's exactly the double of the granted unit, so I hope they will be okay the next week as well. The numbers are increasing rapidly, but this camp used to be so big in the old days, so we might just restore its former glory. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!